Hey guys, before this video gets started, I just want to give a huge shout out to my YouTube members and Patreons. You guys are amazing, whether you're brand new or been with me since the beginning, I couldn't run this channel without you. Scuba diving, as you know, isn't the cheapest thing, and a scuba diving channel isn't the cheapest niche. So, without you guys, this channel wouldn't keep progressing. So a massive, massive thank you goes to you guys. Uh, it keeps growing. If you guys want to join my Patreon or membership, the links will be down below. Uh, we got huge plans, including some really big scuba road trips around the Philippines and another massive one at the beginning of next year that I can't even talk about yet. That's how big it is. So thank you guys so much for joining. And hey, I also started a new YouTube channel all about me and my wife's life here in the Philippines. Or wherever we go. Half of you guys wanted to see scuba diving and critter only episodes and half of you guys wanted to see my life here in Philippines. So to make everybody happy I just made a new channel one for each. So again thank you guys so much for your support. If you want to become a Patreon the link is down below. So let's get into this video. We did some awesome exploration on some new dive sites here. So let's get into it. Hmm? Critter Hunter. Explore the San Miguel. San Miguel, yeah. It's nothing to do with uh, with the beer, huh? Because the foreign <laughs> guy they call oh, yeah. it San Miguel, huh? Yeah, I forgot but, San but Miguel. The cold, but the cold one we have later after life, huh? <laughs> or maybe no scuba, no tuba. <laughs> hey, this is not the first San Miguel barranca I've seen in the Philippines. There's actually a three oh, really? of them that I know now. Jeez. Yeah. I don't know why it's that big. <laughs> well, we're already here, man. I thought it was a lot farther away. That was a short No, no. Awesome. Short let's get going, huh? Yeah, let's keep going. <laughs> so, we're going to go explore a new dive site. Not new, new for us. So how was your uh, first boat dive in Darwin? Uh, it was cool, man. You come from uh, Cebu, huh? Absolutely. You own a dive resort in Allegria? Yeah, I own Allegria Dive Resort. And uh, with lots of critters here, huh? Absolutely. So uh, I think we're going to try to find a flamboyant cuttlefish. But... I, think, I think we should. Because <laughs> we should, for sure. We absolutely but... should. And I, I, want, I want to see a pygmy. Pick me what? Hey, how are you? Oh, oh yeah, that's not happening. So I've, I've been searching for pygmy seahorses <laughs> and I've yet to find one. Well, we could have went to the pygmy spot, but that's not today. Well, I didn't know you, you were. Know, but you're looking got, for everything. We've got three guides here and we've got the guru. Huh? Yeah, but there's no, uh, there's none on this site. Ne never say never. You want to see a flamboyant? Never say never. Exactly. Never say never. Yeah, now there's going to be four. Come on, guys. Look, I've never seen a pygmy in my life. Only on photographs, like what you sent me. But what about a uh, flamboyant should... cuttlefish? Oh, I've seen one of them before. A long oh, time really? Ago. We should go to Copilo. You see a lot of the pygmy. Well, it's not that I've got so many. I've got so many fans at my place. And we, and we think, I, I know they're there, but I don't know what I'm looking for. Sea fans. Mm. Yeah. Thirty all meters. That's what I said. All different types of sea fans. We need to get to Lager and go search them. We've had Finn there. We've had me there. We've had Kevin there. We've yet to find any, and that wall thing, the wall is yeah. just full up and we just yeah. cannot find any. We have one little sea fan and there's five seahorses, so yeah, I don't know. That's because you're in Darwin, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Craters. <laughs> Alright, at the beginning of the video, I gave a huge shout out to my YouTube members and Patreons. And I forgot to include the non-members who are supporting my scuba apprentice, Shy. So a huge shout out also goes out to the likes of Andy at UK Divers, Dragonfly, Randy Cruid, Brian Davies, Mark Carrion, Tim, and Sea Explorers, and many, many more. I can't even mention all you guys. Most of you asked for no shout out at all, but of course, thank you so much for helping support Shy and make her a new diver. Anyways, back to the critter episode. And what episode would be complete if there wasn't a shrimp? Just like this little anemone shrimp. This is a tiny little leaf sheep. And he's about two millimeters long or smaller. And you can see he's on the side of a little leaf that I found in the grass. 
And of course, that thing behind him is a big old skeleton shrimp. And when I say big, uh, well, yeah, he's not big at all. I can barely even see him with the naked eye. So when the skeleton shrimp looks that big, you can just imagine how small that little leaf sheep is. So other leaf sheep you probably heard called different things by different divers. They're also called Sean the Sheep nudibranchs. And well, I think their technical names are sap sucking sea slugs. But I prefer leaf sheep because it's kind of cute. So on this dive site, it was a really sandy bottom, which most divers would think is kind of boring. But everywhere I looked, there was something new to film, including this little sea slug. I have no idea what kind of sea slug it is, but they're so colorful and photogenic. And there was quite a few of these exact species around. You don't need big beautiful reefs to find a lot of cool critters. In fact, it's way easier for us photographers or videographers to film these guys when there is no reef around. When they're just out in the sand and easy to get to without touching anything fragile or delicate. And there's nowhere for them to really hide. Not that they need to hide. Nudibranchs and sea slugs, they don't really mind the camera either. The thing about the sand this time of year is there's sure a lot of those skeleton shrimp around. On another leaf, I found this little weird fish, and I challenge any of you to find the name of this species. I'm pretty sure he's just a juvenile of something bigger, so there's no way for me to find out what that guy is. But he is really cute. In slow motion, zoomed in all the way, I can see him flicking his little fins around while he stands on them. He's pretty cute, and he thinks he's safe on the side of that little tiny leaf. In length, he's probably less than a centimeter long. A lot bigger than the leaf sheep, but still real tiny. I mean, I'm zoomed in so much you can see the grains of sand on the leaf. And of course, his little mohawk. Here's another little nudie that was out in the sand. And these guys are pretty awesome. They're actually real small in width, maybe a third of a centimeter wide, but in length, they're like a snake, maybe even up to five inches long. So they're really unique little nudies. Here's a closer up, and you can see all the weird stuff on his back meant to blend in with his surroundings. There's a lot of different color variations of this little nudie, and he's a pretty cool one. Of course, on this dive site, there was tons of robust ghost pipe fish. This is a common color, and you know, I've been seeing so many robust and ornates that I've been thinking I was gonna skip them, but it's kind of hard to skip them. They're just so awesome. I mean, he looks exactly like a piece of grass. This one happens to be pregnant. You can see his little pouch there. It's full of eggs. Yeah, robusts have a weird life, just like any pipefish or seahorse. The male actually impregnates the female, and then the female puts the eggs back inside the pouch of the male. So the male has to go through all that pregnancy term, and the female can go out and get pregnant again. It's a pretty funny situation where the male has to give birth. Here's a common little frogfish, and I see this color everywhere. This is probably the most common that I've been seeing right now in this time of the year. It's a little cloud frogfish, and they're all over. Now, if you look really close, he's actually using his lure, and he's playing with that big shrimp right in front of him. I filmed him way too long. I mean, like I said, he's a really common one and I usually don't film him much. But I filmed him way too long just trying to get him to eat that little shrimp. But it just never happened. I had to cut out a lot of footage. 
Here's a pretty cool find that we don't get to film very often and it was a first for Finn. I think it's called a fingered dragonette. It looks like he has a little sail on his head. But when these guys are scared or try to swim away fast, he can fold it down on his body and get streamlined and go. But I thought this guy's coloration it was awesome. I mean, it was really cool looking, but obviously it's meant to blend in with the sand, which does a pretty good job. But look at those eye sockets. The retina is really small in the middle, but the entire eye is moving and he probably has a huge field of vision because this whole socket's like moving back and forth. Anyways, pretty cool species and a really unique find compared to most episodes. I haven't seen him before. And that was the end of the dive and I'm right behind Finn and this is how we get out. It's a pretty easy exit. Don, Don, how are you? I'm good. So is the Just coffee? You're, uh, you guys came from Allegria to dive with us? Yeah. And Allegria, if you guys don't know, is just right over on Cebu, not far away. Yeah. And uh, man, the sun is making you so dark. <laughs> uh, Already dark. So this is your first boat dive, huh? Yep. Very first. And you saw, uh, I saw you filming those little robust ghost pipe fish. Yeah. What it's else? Awesome. Did you see some good some stuff? Frogfish, uh, nudie branch. Oh yeah. Yeah, some fish. Yeah. Awesome. So good dive or what? A good dive, yeah, very good dive. How you liking uh, that one? Yeah, it's very good here and lots of things, lots of nudies. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good dive site. Awesome. Yeah, lots of things. Good things. Awesome. Well, yeah. now you can uh, you can watch Critter Hunter in like a week or two, and you'll see your yeah. see yourself. <laughs> <laughs> See you later.